Did you notice we're not asking anyone to buy anything? My favorite memory of Dad's jewelry design studio was riding up and down in the elevator of the Brunner building. Dad's studio was on the third floor and Lori was just a little kid. I loved to watch him work. He was amazing. What was your first job in the jewelry store, Lori? My first job was clean the bathroom, sweep the floor, and replace watch batteries for customers. I remember the day when Dad started thinking of you as more than that, a lot more. What do you remember? You were barely out of high school when a man came in and asked you to help him pick out an anniversary gift for his wife. I remember that. I asked him to tell me about her and he talked all about her for about 10 minutes. And then you took him straight to a piece of jewelry that you thought she would like. And he bought it and she loved it. That was the day dad knew for sure that you had a special talent for knowing exactly what people would like. How do you think dad would feel about our NOLA collection? Dad would be extremely proud, but I don't think he'd be surprised at all. He always said you had a gift. He never said it to me. He said it to me all the time. Thanks for that, Robert. Ramsey's Diamond Jewelers. Wait a minute. These two have been presented as Lucy Van Pelt and Charlie Brown for over 20 years. So Charlie Brown is the owner of the store. Lucy is his nemesis and see Lori being the little sister is always a little taking cheap shots at Robert and it's very entertaining and then this ad in a time of crisis they're coming together I didn't make these stories up it took several hours to pull these stories out of them and then I simply edited what they told me so it would fit inside the confines of the media that we are choosing to deliver that message one last example Ramsey's Diamond Jewelers was one of the first stores to reopen after Hurricane Katrina. I remember one man who came in exactly 21 days after Katrina. I still think about him sometimes. Why? What made him special? He was real quiet. He didn't hardly say anything. That describes a lot of people, Robert. He bought a bracelet. Also, a lot of people. Then I asked him his address for the warranty. Okay, then what? He gave me his address in Chalmette. Chalmette got wiped out. He said he no longer had a house and he no longer had a job, but it was his anniversary and he hadn't seen his wife smile for three weeks. Now I see why you remember him. When people talk about true love, I think of that guy. He just wanted to see his wife smile. He just wanted to see his wife smile. I hope she gave him a smile he never forgets. I hope so too. Being a jeweler is about helping people celebrate relationships. I like being a jeweler. I do too, Robert. Ramsey's Diamond Jewelers. So now you feel like you know these people. You've never even heard their voice, but you know three stories that they remember and that they're talking about during a time of crisis. Here's the 15 second versions of those. I'll let you read them for yourself. They're not identical to the stories in the 60 second versions, but you know what? These 15 second versions are just little quick reminders of those three ideas. Nobody will be offended by these ads. Media consumption will be high and ads will be very low because most people will be canceling or postponing their investments which is a mistake in a time of crisis. Happy memories, reflective thoughts, being human, and asking for nothing in return. That is how you advertise in time of crisis. If you want to be the company think of, that people think of first and feel the best about. Thanks for the time you've shared with me. I wish you well.